Right, I got my uh, PCBs from PCWay. Look very nice. Um, now I'll be seeing better on this video in the photo. Came out really well. So uh, I'm going to use me um, the current, the uh, the current um, hot plate to uh, put some PCBs on. Now yeah, to, to put some uh, surface mounted devices on. So what's required on there? Now what I normally do. I'm going to zoom out a bit. Wrong way. There, I usually print it out so I can see where everything goes. So, and then what I do is I put them all in a. This is a, an old disposable pill tray. So, basically, I put all my components in the tray so I know what's what. And then I uh, populate it. Now, for this one, I'm going to use. Zoom out again, the wrong way. I'm going to use this this uh, inner syringe, this paste inner syringe. I've never used it before, but I'm going to give it a go with this because there's not many uh, PCBs, uh, sorry, surface mounted devices on this. There's only a few, not too far. They're about, well, I don't know, I'm going to count up there. But I didn't think it was worth using a stencil, so. Um, what I've done is I have populated one already done so um, just to get that into focus there we go I've already populated one well I've put the uh, paste on and I've put all the uh, surface mount devices on what I'm going to try and do I'm going to try and zoom in to my thing and have a go at um soldering them so let's give it a try so what i'm going to do is uh, what i found out is that the temperature here reading is from in underneath inside where it's all insulated it's about 15 degrees different from the inside to the out so uh, the only way i had to find out was i had an old temperature stick which i uh, tested from the old steel fabrication days, pre pre eating steel, uh, and I found out it was about 15 degrees difference. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just check it straight up to uh, 250. Well, actually, what I'll do is I'll put it on 240, and we know it overshoots, so by the time it overshoots, I reckon it should have uh, melted all the solder on there, and everything should be quite uh, quite done. And, um, I've tried to read up about this, um, the... Uh, Yeah, the solder mask uh, on there, the you know the, the the lacquer, the paint, or whatever it's called. Anyway, it's a solder mask, uh, and what temperature it can stand? Uh, really, it's not quite this. It's about 130 at the ring, so we shouldn't leave it on here for too long. But as we can see, it shot up to 260. So I'll just drop that down now to about 200. And I'll just move this around so it, it's done these here. You can see it's beautiful on them there at this end here. These, that's there, beautiful, beautiful. I just want to get them to line them up a bit. There we go. Just line them up. There we go. And that, that's fine, there's a little bead there that just wants to get out of the way. Just give it a turn. Just line these up. And uh, I just like everything nice. Light up. Oops. Over touch that one. I think that's alright. I just 
move it across a bit. He's in the middle. What I'm using here is just uh, I might need to put a bit more on there because I'm not using the big um, the um, you know, the electric electric le well the, the electric tank whatever you call it. But, so I'll just put a little dab more on there. Just so it actually reaches across there, basically, because it's a smaller capacitor. But I reckon that's it. It's done. It was so quick. Just knock it off, and I'll just let that cool down. I've got two two pieces of wood, uh, like two little bits of wood, which if I uh, let's see if I can get this in shot. If I just move all that across, put my two little bits of wood down. There we go, and then what we can do is I can grab that with my shaky hands and just lay that on them pieces of wood there. Can you see that? I'll just zoom in. There we go. I've just I've just popped them over there, so that'll cool down now. So, it, and then we can leave this to cool down as well. Uh, I tried to do it all in one video. Uh, and if you've noticed my weird music in the background, it's just because it's finding something that YouTube don't pick up and ask. You say, all oh, right, you've got to play this, play this, um, well, advert, because people want money for that song. So it's just a load of MIDI files I've got running in the background. Okay, well, I hope that was interesting. Uh, 